Hi YouTube, this is Robonuts1 here, and I am doing the Hobbit review, The Desolation of Smaug. Um, this movie was pretty good. Um, it starts off where the last movie left off. Um, we see the our heroes travelling to the Lonely Mountains to get back to reclaim their homeland. And we see um we see Bil Bil Bilbo in this film really really takes the center stage in this movie, more so than the last one. And you can just see at this stage that Bilbo is a very, very strong character. And he's moving towards a direction. And um, we also have on Gandalf, because the, the movie starts Often, like three different. The movie has three. Sorry, the movie has three different sets of story. Um, the first is Bilbo and Thorin going t to the Lonely Mountains to reclaim the uh, t to reclaim the homeland and defeat Smaug. Um. The second one has Gandalf fighting and um, investigating more about Sauron's sudden rise. Um, and I say Sauron as this is going to be, be a spoiler review. Um, we actually get to see Sauron in this film. And it's not like a very, very brief cameo either. We actually see the silhouette of Smaug and it's like, awesome, awesome. Um, no, Smaug, Sauron. We, yeah, we, we, we actually get to see him in this um, movie. And there's also this, um, the elf side of things, where we get to see Legolas and Tamar... Tamaria? I think that's what her name is. Um, played by the actress from Lost. Also, um, play an important role in the story. They're trying to defeat, um these orcs that have come into their homeland. And, um, really, this, m this movie is just absolutely incredible. Um, although I did come out of the movie very, very negatively, though. Um, this movie, let me get the negative out of the way first because I did enjoy the I did enjoy the movie. It's just that um when I went to go see it I came out the movie very, very negatively. And and I would go back and go see it again and probably come out very, very differently. Just at the time I wasn't altogether with it. Um, really, the negative is just the length of the film. And um, it's very long, um, and it's very, very involved. Um, you know, because I, I haven't seen The Hobbit since, like, I... 
I have seen the first one, but I didn't see the first one until next, until like last year. So I had forgotten most of the character development that had gone on. And unfortunately, just kind of, I went into the film f feeling a bit lost. And um, that that's really just a personal thing. It's no disrespect to the movie itself. Because the movie is absolutely in incredible. Um, it was just that at the time wasn't really altogether there, if you know what I mean. Um, so now to the positives. Um, Smaug is absolutely incredible. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch really did a great job at um, portraying the this dragon, this magnificent dragon. And Smaug really, really did become a character in his own way. And I love that. Like, Smaug... Smaug has been my favourite villain of this year. Um, you know, like, I've seen stuff from Thor to... Man of Steel, but this character has been, like, the best villain this year, oh dear, this year, and he's just been absolutely incredible. Um, I really, really enjoyed Benedict Cumberbatch's, um, voice, and, and because Benedict Cumberbatch has such a powerful voice, um, You do really, really get that feeling, but this is a character that, you know, has a personality and has a life to it. Um, we also have Bilbo and his obsession with the ring. Um, Bilbo actually, um starts to feel the influence of the ring really taking over in this film. And unlike in the first film where he just used it as a device, um, this film really, really gives Bilbo what Frodo had on his journey. Um, and because Bilbo has this, you know, B Bilbo has a lot more strength to him, more than I think Frodo does. But like he, he, you can just see the ring start to influence Bilbo's mind. And um, I thought that was very, very interesting. And I love the parallel between um, Bilbo and Thorin. Because, like, well, Bilbo was obsessed with the power of the ring. And Thorin is going down the same direction. Like, his mind is driven by dreams of conquering a land and becoming king and really, really becoming this, you know, powerful dwarf. And it's, it, and it's interesting because as Thorin goes into the, into his kingdom, you know, he, he really turns into this darker character. And I really, really enjoyed seeing that. Um, Gandalf... Ian McKellen knocks Gandalf out of the park. Um, you know, he's such a great, great actor. 
And, um, you know, he just was so enjoyable to watch. And, you know, as I was saying about that we get to see Sauron in this film, boy, do we get to see Sauron. You know, we get to see this whole silhouette. And that actually really, really was like, whoa, they did that. Because that was one of my favourite bits in the film. But we got to see the not uh, not only just the eye of Sauron, but the inside the uh, the eye as well. Because I've always found it strange why Sauron is the eye, is an eye. Like, when I watched the originals, and yes, I have read um, Fellowship and Two Towers, but I never understood why Sauron was just a tower with an eye. I didn't realise that actually inside the eye was Sauron, and I really thought that was cool. Um, Tamania has to be my most favourite character in this film. I absolutely loved her. Um, and especially as she was an, an original character, I just, I absolutely adored her. And, um, she's, she sort of takes Arwen's place in the in this universe, or in the Hobbit universe, and she parallels Arwen in many, many different ways. And I love that. I thought that was brilliant. Particularly her interaction with the dwarves. Um, she has a lot more sympathy for the dwarves, and... She was just such a nice character, and I loved her, and her, yeah, I, I, I just, I absolutely loved her character. Um, Legolas makes his return in this film, and he was really cool, and um, I really enjoyed him returning. And basically, we just such a great film, and very reminiscent of Two Towers. Like it's just that opening, opening chunk of the film really did remind me of the, of the Two Towers, and I loved that. Um, all in all, um, very good film, very enjoyable film. It is long. And it is involved. But no, go see the film. Because, I mean, I really, really did enjoy this film. Although I came out of the film negatively, I, I did actually enjoy the film. And I would r recommend you guys watching it. So, um, stay tuned because um, sometime within this month, I will be doing a segment of my 10 favourite films of this year. So don't miss it. Um, I also have a few updates as well, because this is probably going to be my last chance to update you guys. Um, the, my apologies for the lateness of the Arrow reviews. I know four months is ridiculous, but I have eight pieces of work to get done this year, like, to the end of this month, and I just, I do not have time. Um, my goal is to finish the Arrow reviews by, you know, to finish the uh, the Arrow reviews. Um, I will not be reviewing Season 2 until... until after it's probably ended. And the same goes with 
Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. probably won't be reviewing that until after the new year. Because I, I unfortunately don't have enough time to sit down and review episode by episode. Um, but I will be reviewing the Doctor Who Matt Smith's final regeneration episode. Um, simply because I have enough time to do that and I'll bring my iPad and stuff like that. Um, finally, um, my channel is going to go on a quick hiatus for about a month or two. Um, just because simply college has really, really taken over my, over my life. And, um, I simply do not have enough time to sort everything out. Um, but when I come back, which should be either in February or March time, I'm going to come out with a completely new, um, like, complete, basically it'll be a complete reboot. Kind of like how comics reboot their universes. This channel will be going under a complete reboot. Um, you'll still have your collected... You'll still have collected editions, but it will be very, very different. And you'll still have your movies, but it will be a lot more um, focused and a lot more in-depth. And, um, yeah, so just look forward to that. Um, and I hope you'll have a, a Merry Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't get a chance to talk to you then. See you soon. Bye.